Hey there, Nick Janitakis here. In this video, we're going to go over sorting a selection of text as well as an entire file using the built-in sort command with Vim. So this could be very handy if you have something like a package JSON file and you just want to sort all your dependencies. Maybe you have a gem file or some other dependency file. But notice in this case, all I did was select this uh, selection of text here and I can just run the sort command. Notice how I'm not running bang sort, which would have called out to the sort command on the command line. This sort is actually using the one straight up in Vim. Now that's actually not going to make a change here because these are already alphabetized. But if I do GV here to redo my selection, I can actually just run sort bang here. Notice that bang is at the end, and that is going to do a reverse sort of this list. You know, now we get some syntax errors because this is a JSON file. And you know, I'm missing a comma on the first line here, and then as well as the trailing comma at the end is no good. So let me just undo that. But uh, that is a very, very quick way to sort or reverse sort uh, a selection of text. For example, you know, I can just duplicate this bootstrap one a couple of times here, you know, make a selection of text here, run the sort command with the U flag now, and it's going to sort things alphabetically, but it's also going to remove the duplicates there, right? Basically, the U is for unique. So I just got rid of uh, the duplicate bootstraps there. And you can also combine some of these flags as well. For example, you know, if I redo that selection like this, and this time I do sort like this, then it is going to reverse sort, but also remove all the duplicates of bootstrap. And there we go. So that's a very quick way to do, you know, basic types of sorting. Now, we've been doing that on a selection of text, but this actually works on an entire file too. So if I open up a new file, here called hello and I put something like you know ABCD here notice how we have these four lines they are sorted alphabetically but you know let's say I don't select anything right I can just do a sort bang here to reverse sort them or I can just run a regular sort like that or you know I can duplicate this a couple of times and just run sort you like this and there we go so there are other flags that you can run as well for example if you do help sort you can see a full list here but I find in my day-to-day -day using the unique as well as doing bang at the end to do a reverse uh, sort seems to be what I use like 99% of the time. So yeah, that's a very quick introduction to sorting with Vim. Uh, it's a really powerful concept and really handy for doing things like we just saw. With that said, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up because it really helps. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer them. On that note, thanks a lot for watching and I will see you in the next video.